Hutchison Port's smaller UK port operation, Thamesport on the River Medway, said goodbye to its last planned deep sea service on the 2nd of November 2013, as Hapag Lloyd's Washington Express sailed after her final visit. Thamesport was opened in 1990 with an annual capacity of 300,000 TEU and was bought by Hutchison in 1998 and capacity was raised to around 635,000 TEU. However, the port has suffered badly in the past few years and recent changes have now left it with just two feeder services scheduled to call regularly in the future. Owners Hutchison Ports have refused to comment on Thames Ports prospects, but industry experts say that unless it ties up a deal with some heavyweight traffic soon, the port is likely to close in the relatively near future. Thames Port would also need to make serious investments to compete. Of its seven ship-to-shore cranes, two 22-box-wide units date from 2010, but the other five and the port's automated rail-mounted gantries are around 20 years old, from now-defunct manufacturers, and need major refurbishment or replacement. Thamesport is also just round the corner from two more container ports in deadly competition. Fourth Port's Tilbury, with container trade up to around 900,000 TEU in 2012, and DP World's London Gateway, opening its first berth in November 2013 and scheduled to grow quickly after that. Thamesport has a workforce of around 230, and the future must be looking grim for them. Sources say that up to 50% may be made redundant in the very near future. The port could be refocused on two new and different areas of activity, like wind farm support or row-row use, but opportunities are said to be limited. Perhaps the best use, and one which might provide the area with a much brighter future, could be the Thames Airport, Boris Island or one of its variants. More on this story when we have it.